Holy cow! What's going on everybody? It's Chris. And Netta. We made it up to the Gila Cliff Dwellings over here in New Mexico, just north of Silver City. It's an amazing area. In our video, we're gonna be showing you around. Come on, dude, this is not a good place for you to be. So we've got some bikers getting ready to come up and there's a big old rattlesnake in the middle of the road. And he is pissed off. Come on. But it's better us than a biker. Want a bigger stick? No. I'm just trying to get him to move off on his own. Do your thing, dude. Just get out of the road and we'll leave you alone. We don't want to hurt you. I just want you out of the road. They're coming. I mean, we can just stay here till they pass. Yeah. Well, there's a bunch of people on bike. He's just trying to sun on the road. Yeah, he's trying to get warm. He's moving off though. I'm gonna just watch him. Yeah, so we got some bikers coming. Big old rattlesnake in the road. I chased him off where you guys. Really? Yeah, yeah, he was right in the middle, so. I didn't want, want him to. He was right here, so I didn't want him to get one of you guys. Oh, oh yeah, he is a oh. Big one. <laughs> anyway, enjoy your ride. Thank you for uh, getting in. You're welcome. There's too many people on bikes. I think someone gets scared. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Guys. You guys have a good one. Blue skies. Last time we were here, it was raining. <laughs> Here's the river. Fish. Yep. Oh, that's a little heat, that's a little trout. Oh yeah, they go heal a trout. There's three or four big ones right here under this ledge. Up we go. Up we go. So those are, you think those are spider webs when you first see them. Actually caterpillars that make that. They look real close. You can see the caterpillars up in there ready to make their cocoons so they can turn into whatever they turn into bot butterflies or moths I'm not sure what those ones turn into it's crazy to me that this canyon all one rock at some point and that little stream has eroded that all the way down from being one big rock obviously the places that ate up were softer than the surrounding rock but that's still kind of crazy but that amount of water over tens hundreds of thousands of years if not more has gone from way up there and okay, all the way down. I'm in the stairs. We were just way down in there. Heavy breathers. <laughs> Not breathers. 
doesn't help. We're at pretty good elevation too. Okay. We need to work out more. My watch says 10 flights of stairs. Goal uh, accomplished. So back to what I was saying about that little creek. All of this was flat at some point. And that thing whittled its way all the way down. And that's where we were at when we shot that last piece. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. You can look. Holy cow! That's insane! What? You can't really see it from here, but we'll get up closer. You can see all the soot where they had their fires up under there. There's the outline of the little room. They're still standing up in here. I think they said they're like 750 years old. Yeah, because these are original. These aren't like rebuilt. Yeah. Do you imagine having to walk all the way down into that big old canyon? just to get water. And if that creek's dry, you gotta walk all the way, the rest of the way down to the big river, just to get water. The crazy thing is how cool they are up in here. All that soot and all the fires that were up in here. No, we didn't, we didn't go to Mazatlan, we went to um, Copa. Oh yeah. The one, the one, the only one that you can still climb, which I don't know if you can now, but we did still but a couple years ago. ago. This is so cool. It's crazy how big it is up in here. That's a neat little room right there. It's got a bench and a window. There's a little spot right here that looked like it was a door. It's been patched. Probably so people don't go in it. That's crazy. That is so insane. Dead. All of this. <laughs> Bricks Just and every all these rocks have been hand chipped out and mudded in there. I'm sure a lot of these caves were hand picked out and cleaned and yeah. made so they were more comfortable. As much as I mean, comfort to our day standards, this wouldn't be comfortable, but compared to just sleeping under a tree, 
or having to build a little hut. I mean, it's probably 15 degrees cooler up in these caves than it is outside. Just because of the fact it's just protect when these rocks hold the, hold the heat. That's why your adobe houses back in the day were a lot cooler then. There's a lot of airflow. The crazy part on that one is if you slept at the bottom of this one, there was obviously a fire under there that they used to keep warm. But if your room is above that one, because there is a room up there, then you would be warm from the bottom. You Probably. Have heated floor. <laughs> I bet you with the fires and things they had going in here, that whole place was toasty. probably pretty warm. I'm sure they were plenty warm. Again, probably not to today's standards, but as opposed to just sleeping in a damp, dry or damp cave, it's probably way better. It's probably why they were here for so long. This is crazy. It's a good place to come. And the last time we were here, when we were when it, we got rained out, it was like. 10 bucks a person or 20 bucks a person or something like that. And the Forest Service has changed it. So now it's free to come see all this. You just have to make the drive. And from where we're at, it's about four and a half hours. So it's a little bit of a drive for us, but it's worth it. I mean, just just take your time and go from the desert floors all the way up into this pine forest and just be able to see so it is awesome that it is free, but they do have a donation box that really helps them out. So if you do come, feel free to donate. Yeah, as long as they don't burn too, too hot, they're really healthy for everything. It burns out all the dead growth and all the underbrush, and then it gives everything else a chance. I guarantee you these sunflowers wouldn't be here if all those trees were, were here. They wouldn't have enough sunlight to grow. And then what you get is you start getting the small pine trees coming back up, and then it starts looking healthy again. Fire's been around forever. I mean, that's why the Forest Service is kind of going to where if it's lit by lightning and it's not threatening any structures, they're just gonna let it burn because humans have got in and stopped all these fires and we've it's gotten so thick and full of fuel that when it burns, it burns way, it burns way too hot and it kills all the trees. Because you guys, I'll show you guys right here as these trees were coming up to, you can see where the fire burned them, they're black, but it didn't, it didn't kill them because it didn't burn hot enough to get through the bark. I mean, these trees, are here and they're used to fire. Their bark's thick enough that as long as it's not super hot and doesn't get through it, it's not gonna kill them. And it's super healthy for them, honestly, because it burns out all the underbrush and it burns off all their dead stuff. And you can see where those fires have definitely been burned. You know, trees are not black the way those trees are. The fire came through, cleared out all the underbrush. Obviously there's some more, but it's good for them. The humans have meddled and let stuff build up too much. And now when it burns, sometimes it burns so hot, it scorches everything down to the dirt. And then there's nothing. So when it burns so hot, the fire lasts longer instead of going through a quick burn. And then it kills all the wildlife as well because they can't escape. Yeah, it burns too hot in too big of an area that they can't get away. Yeah, they get trapped, at eat, especially if it burns from the bottom up. They Animals can only run to the top and then they're stuck. But. Kills nature. <laughs> Woo! Kills the wildlife as well. I almost went for a ride. But. So we're gonna make our way the rest of the way down these stairs and back down to the parking lot. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, we do have our 500 subscriber giveaway going on, which is for a gold panning kit with a bag of hay dirt. So don't forget to drop a comment to get entered in for that. And. Catch you later. Hey everyone, it's Chris. And Netta. If you like the video, drop us a like. And subscribe. Thanks for being a part of our everyday.